Concerns grow about violent crimes, but law enforcers are at a loss for direct causes. Hafadeh Guam, I'm Jeff Marsh, so this is News Watch. As the drug-related murder of Vincent Pareto moves to trial, police are no closer to figuring out whether a rash of violent and unsolved crimes are tied to known drug rings on island. According to the new Uniform Crime Report and considering recent news stories, violent crimes are on the rise. Tonight, we ask police and the Attorney General for root causes and what you can do to protect yourself. Recent headlines suggest growing violence on Guam. The brutal murder of Vincent Pareto inside his Jonia home, allegedly by a band of teens looking for marijuana. A prison lockdown after inmates threatened to kill the warden. An unsolved homicide off Hamburger Highway. Six mysterious fires in two months. And various assault cases. Can any of it be tied to organized drug rings? Drug organizations do exist on, the, on Guam. We can't pretend that they aren't there. The different types of uh, murders that have taken place in the past, some of them were drug related and some of them of course are, uh, weren't drug related. Whatever the causes, statistics show a dramatic rise in violence on island between 2005 and 2008. Violent crime shot up 19 percent between 2007 and 2008 alone, with nine murders committed in the past 18 months. With violent crimes rising, now is no time to let your guard down. If they believe that they're being followed, if they believe that there is some suspicious activity uh, nearby their home, within their home, uh, that they contact our, our police department, uh, that they do not try to be sort of the hero uh, in that particular situation because that can lead to very unfortunate, even fatal consequences. Attorney General Alicia Limtiaco also tells Guam News Watch she sees no conflict. We asked her to answer long-held suspicions that her representation of the people in several federal receivership cases against GovGuam could be compromised now that she's inclined to accept President Obama's nomination for U.S. Attorney. I will continue to do so. I will act ethically, professionally, and certainly will advocate uh, the positions taken by our government with regards to any of our cases within the District Court of Guam. It'll usher in a lot of financial help for much needed programs and assist in Guam's buildup. It's census time and every household on island can make a difference by taking the time to answer a few easy questions. Jennifer Robigo with more. The 2010 Guam census is underway and enumerators will be scattered through every village on the island collecting census questionnaires sent to residents through the mail. Spokesperson Yolanda Elliott tells residents how to identify the census workers. Uh, they'd be wearing the maroon t-shirt, maroon cap, exactly like what I have on right now. And they'd be wearing their ID badge and carrying their um, census bag, which is the 2010 logo. Census advisor Justin McLaughlin wants to reassure residents that all the answers to these questionnaires will be kept confidential. So the, the questionnaires are going to focus on three predominant uh, areas, uh, socioeconomic, demographic, uh, and uh, housing data. Office manager Cecil Suda says census workers will be working around the clock. Well, the enumeration will take place till end of June and then uh, there will be some follow-up. The Census Bureau estimates that for the average household this form will take about 43 minutes to complete, including the time to review the instructions and answers. Reporting for Guam News Watch, I'm Jennifer Robigo. They carry a cross up Guam's highest peak in the early morning hours once a year. After the break, three generations of Good Friday tradition continues for one Guam family. Welcome back. For Guam's Catholic faithful, the early morning hike up Mount Lam Lam has been a Good Friday tradition for more than 40 years. David Macaluso reports on one family that has kept this tradition faithfully from the start. For three generations, Anthony Cruz's family and a small group of parishioners from Our Lady of the Waters, Mong Mong, coordinate a trek up Mount Lam Lam in observance of Good Friday. According to Cruz, thousands of people participate in this island tradition. We go up there and actually do the actual 14 stations of the cross, get a more uh, inner feeling, you know, as to what uh, Jesus Christ has done for us uh, on this Good Friday. Every year, the group builds a 500-pound cross that's 11 feet high and spans 6 feet in width. We make it out of agar wood. It's uh, known for its, its strength and durability. It uh, lasts a few years. Tomorrow, the tradition continues for the island's faithful. The trek begins at 6 a.m. Volunteers will carry the cross to the summit of Mount Lam Lam. Reporting for Guam News Watch, I'm David Macaluso. 
Small businesses drive the economy by providing jobs for more than half the nation's private workforce. Today at the Laddie of Freedom Multipurpose Cultural Center at Adaloop, the U.S. Small Business Administration honored six local winners of the 2010 Small Business Awards. Today's winners were recognized for their hard work, innovative ideas, and dedication to our island community. Guam News Watch delivers five minutes of news weeknights here on CW4. Turn to us for 30 minutes starting April 26th. I'm Jeff Marcia. So, adios.